starting. Okay. Hello, everyone. We are live, I think. <laughs> hey, so, um, hi, I'm Rosa, if you don't know me, movement worker, and I'm really looking forward to um, watching our incredible um, Bog Ozzy um, showing us his, his chefing skills and teaching us all a bit, and it should just be really fun. Remember that if you send us afterwards a picture of your pasta, um, then the most beautiful um, pasta picture will win a very special LJY prize. Yes. Um, but yeah, Ozzy, over to you. Introduce yourself. Hello. Hello. What's Hello. going on? Uh, my name is Ozzy. I have been in LJY since 
So I love the check. Probably best if I come around this angle. By tap. Is that a good view? Yes. Fabulous. So I've got my onions half like that. The only thing I need to think about is having a nice sharp knife. Because that's going to stop you from crying because it's cutting the onion very nicely. It's not being torn apart. If you had a very blunt knife, it would be torn apart and a lot of the stuff that makes you cry would fly out. Making sure to just keep my hands nice and far away from the bed, but still in a way that lets me hold the onion. So I'm left with just very little at the end, very little wasted. Oh, amazing. The, Make sure you're really careful with your fingers. Very much so, yeah. You need to be pretty sure. You got a nice sharp knife, it's actually a lot safer than a blunt knife. Because um, if you had a blunt knife, it'd be on whatever you're cutting. You give it a bit of pressure and it'll slide, at which point it's out of control. So if you've got a nice sharp knife, it's a lot easier to control. You have a lot more control of it, a lot less likely to cut yourself. Another comment from Josh. Can you make an Isaac soup? We actually did already say when we were doing up the other day that we don't make soup out of people on LJY because we're vegetarian. Um, so I'm afraid no Isaac soup for, for today. Um, <laughs> we're, yeah, we, we've got the option. Um, you can either have a vegetarian or a vegan pasta meal. Um, all you have to do is replace um, cow's milk with any other milk alternative that you fancy. Yep, that is absolutely right. It's uh, a recipe that there are ingredients listed down below, scrolling across the screen, but it's very much whatever flavours you want to put in there, whatever kind of things you want to do. So long as you keep the liquid ratio the same to the pasta, then go nuts with whatever flavors whatever. you put different herbs, different vegetable, um, different uh, meats, although I'm not allowed to say that on the stream, I don't think, um, or other kind of flavors that you want in there. It's a really versus, versatile uh, kind of dish to do. It's more sort of a technique than uh, an actual recipe. But it's so long as you've got that ratio of liquid to pasta, go wild with the flavours. And actually, that, that could be something that we, um, if we send you your flavours afterwards, we can have a look. We can, um, whoever's got like, the nicest flavours, that'd be a really cool thing to do. See what you can do, be creative with it. Don't just follow what I do, put in what you like. Good, so. Yeah, Got onion I'm, I'm and... just watching really carefully this as soon as it's over. What's that, Rosa? <laughs> um, I'm just watching really carefully because I'm going to make mine as soon as this is over. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, so, you need your... Uh, we have a comment from Sam. People are friends, <laughs> not food. I hold out to Navy. Um, I'm not a fan of eating food. Like, no, I'm not a fan of food. Just like the friends, not food, like um, Finding Nemo, right? Yeah. Thank you. Sweet. So, bit of oil into your pan. Use whatever you've got. This is olive oil, but it doesn't really matter. The medium heat. Oh, we have a comment from um, Warren, our favourite song. 
Just have some cooking the onions. So, let me get here. I'm looking at me now. So I've got onions in there. I don't want too high in the heat. I want them to get quite sweet and soft. So, just let them cook gently. A bit of patience. That's all we need. There's a pinch of salt in there, which I'm sure most of you know. Just have to. Dry a bit of my moisture, cook it another quicker, and um, save us a bit of time. So, oh yeah, another little tub. I've got this damp piece of kitchen towel, which I put my trumpet board onto, and it stops it moving about. That isn't going anywhere. So, a little tip. Helps you just stay a bit more organised, a bit cleaner. Means there's less washing up to do later because stuff isn't flying around. Cool. So while we're waiting for those, I'm gonna start weighing some stuff out. So remember, I'll go for this camera. Remember, I'm saying you need some kind of scale. That's the next thing. So I'm gonna weigh some stuff out now. Sounds like a lot of false pounds are flying around. I assure you, I'm just waiting past it. So, 200 grams of pasta. So, it's 100 grams of pasta per portion. That's one portion, it's 100 grams. Um, use whatever you want. If you've got spaghetti, probably best if you snap it in half. Make sure they're no Italians looking because they might get mad. Um, it's 200 grams of that, 250 ml of milk or some kind of dairy. So, if you've got your vegan alternatives, go nuts. Um, and then 100 mils of milk, but we're going to use that to wash that out with. You're also going to need 200 grams of tin tomato, so that's half a can, so just approximate it. Um, and about 500 grams of plum tomatoes or fresh tomatoes, which is about three or four, depending on how big they are. Uh, uh, Okay, nice and soft now. It's always to pour in more, and then you can also have it for lunch the next day if you don't finish it. Indeed, indeed. And equally, you can scale this up, double this up. So this will make enough for two, like two decent portions. Um, so equally, scale it up and double it, triple it, quadruple it. So long as you keep the ratio of liquid pasta the same, then you're golden. Sweet. So, now the 
and then uh, nicely softening. Then goes the garlic. The same kind of thing. You're gonna get those nice and soft and sweet, fragrant. It's really nice, I think, to have that kind of contrast of sort of tin tomatoes and something a bit fresher. Um, just kind of makes it a bit more alive, a bit more vibrant, a bit more exciting. It's all very important things you need to do when cooking. Obviously, it needs to be food that you want to enjoy. A lot of people tend to forget that. So make sure it stays nice and fresh. And it's a really good way of using up some like fairly, I don't like the word, but like boring ingredients, like um, like store covered ingredients, dry ingredients. It's a really good way of just freshening them up, making them a bit more exciting. Where did you buy your tomatoes from? They look really nice. What was that? Where did you buy your tomatoes from? They look really yummy. I can't really hear you, sorry. Oh, the technology. Right, okay. I think I've got this done. It's quite difficult without a second cameraman here. <laughs> So I'm just going to give these a bit of a rough chop. It's all going to kind of break down anyway. So, for those of you listening and watching, what kind of flavours would you put in, do you think? If you wanted to make it a bit more interesting. What could you do? Mm -hmm. I like having spicy tomato sauce. You like having what tomato sauce? Spicy. Oh, spicy. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so you could totally, totally add chili into this. No worries. Yeah, there's chili flakes on the recipe, but just do as much or as little as you can handle. <laughs> Absolutely true, yeah. Again, it's just the technique. Put in flavours, experiment. That's the thing that I find a bit puzzling, um, personally. Sometimes if people are asking me for sort of cooking ideas or tips, um, the best one I can give you is just do it. Practice it. Have a go. Um, you'll discover a lot more things if you just kind of use your instincts, um, put some new flavours together, some stuff you might like, some stuff you probably won't like. Um, but that's just part of the part of the process, you know. Um, there are just going to be some things that you don't like. We have a comment from um, Abel saying that his favourite is fe fresh basil. Oh. Yeah, fresh basil, lovely, lovely bud, very fragrant. As well, the best is being able to grow it in the UK and have it in your garden. Indeed, very it. much so. I mean, we've got a little uh, garden here. We've got some rosemary and some mint. That's all we've got at the moment. We've got some more growing outside, but it's obviously not the nicest no. weather at the moment. But yeah, fresh basil. A delicious, delicious flavour. So really well with tomato, obviously. Um, yeah, sweet. Uh, so we have 
to know how hot is hot. How hot is hot? Well, I have it on good authority that Batman and Superman can't take the heat. <laughs> That's just what I've done. Heat, you're right. <laughs> For those who don't know, that is very famous LJ Wine. That's a chart. How hot is hot? <laughs> there we go. Oh, so I have my onions and garlic. Oh, Again, with that, the really good threshold, it gives you a really nice contrast to the kind of the, the one that you have. They've got a bit of um, a bit, bit dull, I think, with the uh, tomatoes. You open one of them, lighten them up, something a bit acidic. So, we've got. We've got Dan Briskin saying, yeah. What are those? What are those? They are my crop. Is that a wine reference? <laughs> what are you wearing? What shoes are you wearing? Uh, they're called socks. Socks. Yes. <laughs> nice Dan. Um, Lauren, if you're still watching, then I'm hoping that you're go you're going to be making me um, this pasta right now in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm waiting to hear you cook it, and like I said, nice and spicy. <laughs> If, if she's watching, hopefully she will come downstairs and start making it for me now. Do it, Lauren. Easy. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so, nice to be Oh, that looks so nice. And half the tin of the tomatoes. Just use the same jug so you don't have to wash up anymore. That's part of what we learn at chef school, just to avoid doing as much washing up as possible. Once the series out, there we go, it's 200 grams. It's about half a can. Bang on. I also put in a tablespoon of tomato puree, which is just a really nice way of getting some depth to contrast those lovely fresh tomatoes. You have sort of a lovely stewed, deep, savoury flavour. Oh, and a stock cube, of course. Uh, Can't forget the stock amazing. cube. And we've got Lauren saying she's going to make great. So give that all a big stir in. And a good pinch of salt or three. Pasta needs a lot. Bring it up to sir. And it goes on. And turn down to low heat. And then you want to give it about 10 or 11 minutes. Uh, so let me go set a timer. Gonna eleven minutes. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, it's a one-pot pasta, so maybe it's a smaller hob. It's pretty much it. Amazing. Um, have you got your, have you got your herbs like herbs already? I do. I have. Who can, who can name the herb? 
That's a great, that's a great round of a uh, gang shot. That's my favorite round. Name that herb. Oh, yum. Parsley. <laughs> and some okay. Oridano, some dried herbs. It's a really good one for using up dried herbs. Um, so if you've got a large collection of dried herbs, pretty much anything goes with it. Um, Just the very first time. <laughs> What's that? Just throw all of them in. Is that your suggestion? If you want, I don't know. Give it a go. It's your dish. Um, Sam Briskin wants to do a Q and A. Well, yeah. yeah. If you send any, if you send any questions, because Ozzy is not only good at cooking pasta, he can cook many, many other things. You can ask him for advice. I have the degree to prove it. If you comment, then he might be able to answer for you. And now we've got Dan Pollock saying, "We love you, Ozzy. We do," which is true. Oh, Dampy. Hello. Is that me wanting? That is that is a blast from the past. We love you, all. We do. Yeah, I'm going to show you. I'm going to let you into a little secret. So nice. Right. This is this is something you don't see on any cookery shows, right? Which is the washing up. Oh. So whilst I crack on with that, glamorous side. Feel free to send me over any question, and Rosa can. Let you know. Cooking for your parents, maybe they'll do the washing up for you if you don't want to do. Yes, that, that is that's, so that is the other major benefit of doing the cooking is that you don't have to be washing up then. Yeah, you don't have to. I mean, I'm doing it now. So <laughs> But just trying to think of the good stickers. Uh, and we've got Pound setting me to a 10 minute ruwer pipe while we wait for it to cook. But Josh, actually, yeah. I mean, I think people have seen a lot of ruwer recently. So we're trying to mix it up a bit. <laughs> you can always watch my live streams on our Facebook page if you want to at any time. <laughs> a fun fact about Ozzy actually is that he doesn't actually have a Facebook page. So I yeah, but I can send him the link if he wants to if he wants to watch this back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or is that not not so fun? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, how's everyone managed to sort of eat during this whole thing? Well, I know it's, a, it's really easy. That for me as well to like not eat as well with the times are like this. So I'm curious to see how you guys are kind of getting on with, um, with your food and, and how if it's changed your diet at all or if it's changed the way you do things. Yeah, what I have a question. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. oh, I'll put that up on the screen. Amazing, so nice. We've got Jake from Newcastle. Yeah, it's really good how um, being online means that everyone can come together even just for a short time, even if everyone's really far apart, which is really cool. Um, and just a reminder to everyone to make sure that you send us your pictures of your finished products. So it's always good to make sure you get um, a good amount of presentation to make it look really nice um if you manage to hold off for one minute before tucking in when you finish. Yeah. That's always a great thing part when I was in working over the summer last summer and um, we would we'd make our dishes, we had to make them for the camera and then we couldn't touch it for the whole day. It was it was good bad. Like some degree places it was bad. Um but we got some really nice pictures. But was, yeah you'd make a lovely plate of food, make it look wonderful, very exciting size. And then some picture. Yeah, I think that makes it even nicer. Yeah. It's definitely right, I think. Um, you know, a lot of people can forget that the, the main purpose of, it sounds dumb, but the main purpose of making food is to eat it. A lot of people can forget that, and they'll, they'll worry too much about making it look fantastic on a plate, and then just forgetting about the actual food itself. Um, which, I don't know, it kind of sort of defeats the point, I suppose. But... Um, yeah, I'm just curious to like, see how, um, has, has, has this like made everyone 
could have been more at home because you can't rely on as much for open source anyway. So like, I don't know about you, but I've been cooking pretty much every day. I, I mean, I do most days anyway, but it's kind of um, it's interesting. We're also like chef friends as well. Um, we're cooking a lot for ourselves and for others, people with me. Um, because we don't really have a choice at the moment. And I'm curious to see like how that will change once everything kind of goes back to normal, hopefully. And um, will people still be cooking with themselves as much? I don't know. It's it's interesting. Um, I think it'll change the way that we eat a lot as well. One of my one yeah. of my tips for making um food look really presentable is by using your herbs that you put on the top to like sprinkle it and then um drizzling <laughs> olive oil so, like that always makes me feel really fresh <laughs> and chili flakes just all, all the little sprinkles at the end on top yeah i've got one you can sort of bay <laughs> You really want to. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I've, I've yeah. definitely been more. Thinking. Yeah, it's something you can, you can, you can, you can overdo it, but it's always nice if you've got like an extra 30 seconds. You'd be surprised, it might just be the difference between chucking on the plate really quickly or taking that extra 30 seconds, 10 seconds, just to gently place something on the plate rather than chucking it on. It actually makes a huge difference. So if you are kind of wanting to get to with that, just slow down a little bit when it comes to that. No. It's a really good way of just staying in control of your ingredients on the plate. So you can just put them on, post them on, rather than just chuck them on. Amazing. A nice bit of extra virgin on board, it's really nice to finish. Like what they were saying, just a bit of drizzle while the world was something. How much longer have you got left on your timer for your pasta? I have four minutes, chef. And then this pasta will do be you, Do you prefer your pasta al dente or I, well I prefer done? It like before al dente. Like I want my pasta like hard. But I'm kind of weird like that. I know a lot of people don't. Um, but I always tend to go for the more al dente side of things. Because you can always cook it more if someone else doesn't want. Um, but I prefer nice cheese, pasta, yum. When I was younger, I used to eat um, <laughs> just dried pasta out the cupboards. But that's a don't try this at home kind of thing. Um, <laughs> that's how much I love pasta. But don't try that at home. It should. It will probably make you ill. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> Mikey Franklin! Hello! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, I know what that's referring to. Oh my god. I never saw that good song again. And for those of you that are uninitiated, it's Mikey just posted three emojis, which are a car, guitar, and a coffin. Um, it was a very sad story about how, you know, when we have like who've done it on Kadima, or my marriage stuff, like, like the murder in history. Well, the murder that year was my guitar, and the killer was Mikey Franklin's car in the in the Hudson side. Right. And it was very sad. <laughs> Um, we've got a, uh, some people are a bit horrified by the dry pasta comment, understandably. Oh, wait. What was this, There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not alone. <laughs> that was just when I was like, really, I mean, I always ask someone else to check if the pasta's ready for me because... I always get too overexcited about being hungry and just end up wanting to drain it while it's not ready yet. <laughs> well, um, so. so I know there's a lot of like, methods about this, but people have their own like, weird ways of checking when the pasta's done. 
I'm curious as to see what people's um, like methods are seeing most of Because I think I've got a method that trumps all of them. Like some people like chuck it to the wall and it sticks, it's done. Best way to know who's done is to eat it. I not that. Okay. Cool. That's quite a bit of joy. Um. So I'm just going to chop up a bit of fresh meat. Oh, yeah, can you show us, the, show us in the Aussie cam in a set? What's that? Can you show us in the Aussie cam? The Aussie cam? Show you what? <laughs> what was in the pan? Bring up the pasta. Hi, chopping up. Yeah, yeah, go on then. I'll get you some. I'll get some fresh. I'll get some more. Oh. Okay, okay. Technical difficulties. Right, hopefully that will balance. Come around this angle. Oh, my Aussie cam has gone weird. Does it look weird on your stream too? <laughs> look all like stripey. Yeah, what's going on there? Oh no. <laughs> oh wait, your brother's um online, Aussie. Yeah, he's over. Like, well, I mean, I would show you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Um, no, is it going, is it going weird? Something. What's that? Yeah, I don't know what's happened there. I'll tell you what, I'll leave I'll leave on Aussie Cam and I'll I'll join back in. Yeah, you just need to unmute yourself. Um, we've got a message from Hannah saying that she's a big fan. Always lovely to see you, Hannah. And we've got Lauren saying you chop so beautifully. Thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah, I, I wish I could chop quicker. It always take, makes everything take twice as long. Uh, it's far more important to chop accurately than quickly. <laughs> that is really true. Accuracy is very important so that you don't chop your fingers off. Indeed. Uh, and Hannah is very excited by <laughs> having a cow cow. She feels famous. <laughs> Thank you, our number one fan. <laughs> Give that pasta a taste. Pretty close now. Oh, pretty hot. Ah. Oh. A little salt. Nice salt. Oh, generous with the salt. Yeah, I like probably a lot more salt than the majority of people in this room might have. So. Don't call me. Exactly. Oh, this, this is like nostalgia. <laughs> Hello. 
How are we? It's looking quite steamy. Um, so we've now got um, Hannah has said, when we don't need social distance, can we have an Aussie catered Friday night dinner? Fun story. Only about a month or two ago, we had a wonderful Friday night dinner. Thank you, Ozzy. Um, and he basically catered um, for the Zufier group. We had um, curry and rice, and it was so delicious. So hopefully we will do that again soon when we're out of lockdown, if he's willing. Yeah, go on, Gabriel, go on, Gabriel Miller is missing Friday videos with the great movement work team of 2014 to 2015. Shout out to them. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I miss the Friday videos as well. We've evolved now to TikToks, um, which is us keeping up to date with the generation um, today. But those Friday videos were iconic. But this is fun too. Thank you. And Big love to his cornets. That's us, Ozzy. Yep, sure is. And we follow him. Shout out to Israel for 2013. And our are afterwards. <laughs> now we've got Mia Bogod. Can I have a shout out? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bit man. keen, but yes, sure you can. Uh, marks. Hi Mia, so pleased you're joining us. Always a pleasure to have you. Looking forward to seeing your picture of your pasta. What are you doing now, Ozzy? Uh, I've got the faster in the bowl. Now I'm going to pass me back. Go that didn't work as well. <gasps> Again, just a way to freshen it up a bit. Liven it up. Right, also, I'll put in the ingredients. Of lemon zest, which sounds a bit odd oh, yeah. with tomatoes, but it's a really nice way. Again, I'm just keeping it fresh. <laughs> wow. That mm -hmm. looks so mm -hmm. yummy. Simple. Ah! <laughs> That'll freeze the as well. Oh, yeah, my advice <laughs> The finishing touch. Finishing touch, there you go. So, I want to see what you guys can do with this. Again, it's very simple, all about the technique. <laughs> Less about the flavours. So if you want to change it up, add a few different things, add some perhaps more contraband ingredients. It may not be allowed at LJY that I would add, but it's personal preference. All the ingredients are down below. Um, have a go at it, send in your photos. We'll see which ones are the best. We'll do two competitions, one that looks the best. And then one that has like all the most interesting flavors or makes me want to eat it as much because this is really <laughs> a blank canvas. So, yeah, some of the stressing thing out there. On the judging panel together. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And yeah, Ozzy, make sure you get a picture of yours because it looks so nice. 
want to remember that sure so that thought. I have inspiration. Oh, cool. Yeah, I can look at it whenever I need inspiration. Nice. So nice. Um, I'm also uh, interested to see if there are any things that you guys would like me to cook if we do future streams. Some dishes that you might be interested to learn how to make, or you maybe just want to give me a super interesting challenge and see if I get on with it. I sort of used to do the old work quite a bit. Uh, we just get given a load of ingredients and told to get on with it. Um, not always with the most best results, but it's, it's good fun to watch someone else struggle through it. So if anyone has any ideas for stuff like that, totally up for that. I've got nothing else to do at the moment. <laughs> Um, yeah. And also, I've got a message. I just received a message from my sister Martha, who says she's oh, managed God. to make the worst pasta ever. This is grim. So I don't know how she managed to <laughs> do so badly, but she <laughs> said it went so wrong. But it went oh, no. <laughs> but um, if she manages to get a nice picture of it, then we won't know that it tastes disgusting. So she could still win the competition. Of course, of course. <laughs> um, we've got a 10 out of 10. Um, I wonder if that's Abel rating his pasta or your pasta. And can you show us how to make something fish like? <laughs> well, we could make something like, but not actual fish because. I mean, fish like, just, it, just it, like it, a fish, not exactly a fish, just like a fish. Right. <laughs> not a vegetarian. Of course. Um, yeah, I totally up for any kind of stuff that you want to learn how to cook or the things that, um, again, you kind of want to just give me a, you know, put these ingredients together, see what comes out of it. That's quite fun. Um, so, any ideas, suggestions? Yeah. You let me know. Um, I will. I will yep. update Aussie on anything that is commented. Um, but yeah, and you can watch this back anytime that you want. And yeah, it's been so lovely. A massive thank you to Aussie. Yeah, well, thank you guys. Our incredible share. <laughs> we'll let you eat your food now before it thank gets you, cold. Yeah. <laughs> Um. What's the verdict? Good. I think this whole cooking thing might work we'll out. See you on I will see Wait you guys around. Bye bye. Bye. Ooh.